Hi, I'm Subramanian with Durga Software Solutions, Hyderabad. Durga Software Solutions is a wonderful platform where the students are enriching many skills, many multiple skills like soft skills, technical skills and corporate grooming. So in the process of this soft skills training, today we are going to talk about the styles of communication. Many people don't know much about these styles of communication. Generally, people communicate in two ways, either aggressive or passive way. Generally, people communicate either aggressive or passive. People know only these two ways of communication, either aggressive way or passive way. So, what does it mean aggressive communication? Aggressive communication means only I win and other person lose. When I am communicating with the other person, I will only win but the other person obviously loses. And when I communicate passively, I lose and other person win. This things happen when we are communicating with the other people in terms of uh, aggressive and passive. In terms of effectiveness point of view, this aggressive and passive communication styles are completely ineffective and produce poor relationship and produce poor results in human relationship. So, when aggressive and passive, these two styles of communication generally happens out of low self-esteem and lack of awareness, lack of training and lack of understanding. So, we have another type of communication. It is given, gifted to human beings, only human beings, no other species on this world. When when you see these animals, they have only two choices. What, what, is, what, is, what is one first choice? Either fighting or flight. Fight or flight. These are the only two choices for them. But for human beings, we have another beautiful choice that is assertiveness. We have another type of communication style is assertiveness. What is that assertiveness? Assertive communication style, passive communication style, aggressive communication style. Communication styles are three. These are aggressive, passive and assertive. Assertive communication style speaks about Respecting other people's opinions and upholding our own rights. We are not degrading and we are not aggravating or high respecting others' opinions. Assertive communication means respecting others' opinions, others' communication. On the other hand, upholding our own rights and responsibilities. We listen to the people and then we respect others' opinions also. That is called assertiveness. In terms of effectiveness point of view, assertiveness is the best process of communication. As I said earlier, 98 percentage of the problems, 90 percent, 90 percentage of the problems in our personal, professional and social life will crop up either out of communication or absence of communication, either out of communication or absence of communication. So, we can avoid this uh, 90 percentage of the issues also by communi effectively communicating with the people. That one of the effective communication tools is called assertive communication. So, what is all about assertive communication, how the people uh, use it for effectiveness point of view and where people use this assertiveness. What are the problems with the aggressive and passive? We will talk about now.
let me give you the statistics the matrix for assertive communication matrix communication matrix according to this communication matrix when i am talking to the people i am here you are here i am okay i am not okay okay not okay so when i am communicating with you i am here you are here y axis you are x axis i am here when i am communicating with you i feel okay if you are also okay that is called assertive communication assertive communication style when i am communicating with you if i feel okay if you are also okay then that is called assertive communication but when i am communicating with you i am not okay but you are okay so that means i am not comfortable but you are feeling comfortable and you are winning that is called passive communication passive communication style so when i am communicating with you i am not feeling comfortable i am i am losing most of the time and you are winning that kind of communication is called passive communication style next when i am communicating with you i am okay but you are not okay that is aggressive communication aggressive communication style so aggressive communication style speaks about you are not okay but i am okay that means i am winning but you are not winning you are failing most of the times i am only getting success i am overriding you but you are not getting any success so there that is called i am winning you are losing this type of communication style is called aggressive communication style now when it comes to this another style of communication i am not comfortable you are also not comfortable when I'm, both of us are communicating with each other when i am communicating with you or when you are communicating with me i am not feeling comfortable and i am not winning and you are also not winning you are also not feeling comfortable that kind of communication style is called this is like disasters disgusting disgusting dangerous or devastating communication style this is to be avoided this is to be avoided because here i am not winning you are also not winning when i am not winning when you are not winning that becomes is a disastrous in our relationship it does not help us in any way the that kind of communication happens when we met with uh, any uh, accidents with other people when we deal when we dash our uh, bike or car with other people when we at uh, no uh, it happens most of the times there that person says that i am he is right and we say that we are right in between both are losing we are not winning in our section so in this regard in this case both of us are losing nobody is winning this kind of co communication is called disgusting and devastating and dangerous communication in this communication nobody wins and somebody the mediator comes and then 
he will solve the problem when when it comes to this as passive aggressive and assertive communication assertive communication always uh, respected by everyone because you are not winning and other person is also not losing you are respecting and others on the other side you can also you are also be happy with other person so this is really happening with assertive communication in passive communication what happens you will become just like a doormat and every time you are losing other person will be winning and aggressive communication you you only win in your communication all the time but other person will lose and in the long run you will lose the relationship with the people that is also happens in terms of aggressive communication so aggressive in terms of uh, uh, effectiveness point of view aggressive communication is also not good and passive communication is also not good for long term relationship so assertive communication is the only one choice and one option which gives us always long lasting relationship in the human relationship and effectiveness point of view you will not feel bad about yourself you will not feel bad about other people and you will be very peaceful happy successful in your all dealings and human relationship so regarding these uh, four styles of communication where do you stand whether you stand in assertive communication whether you stand in passive communication or aggressive or disgusting or dangerous communication we have uh, 20 situations 20 uh stand points are 20 contexts through which we will identify whether which category we fall in which category we fall in this four areas let us see this uh, questionnaire on assertiveness this questionnaire is going to help us to identify whether we fall in uh, passive communication or aggressive communication or assertive communication or disgusting or devastating or dangerous communication style now look at this uh, 20 statements we will see once we through with this uh, assessment we will finalize where we stand and what are the characteristics of all these uh, four three types of uh, communication style passive aggressive and assert assert assertive and aggressive the first statement says that do you ignore it when somebody pushes in front of you in line when you are in the line if somebody comes back side and then pushes you in front of uh, the line do you ignore it if you say yes or always you can give one mark this is the score uh, pattern score uh, marks if you give one that is always two is it usually three sometimes and four seldom five never so this is the way you need to give the score to the situations and context if you ignore you can give if you really ignore always one if you don't ignore it is it, it will never happen in your life then talk about only five this is how you can give the score pattern do you raise your voice when you are trying to make your point in con- uh, conversation so when you are conversing with other people when you are communicating with other people do you raise your points whenever the situation demands next do you find it difficult to accept compliments from your boss or supervisor if somebody is complimenting you if somebody is uh, um, giving you compliment do you find it do- so difficult to receive it some people have that problem they cannot tolerate uh, or uh, patiently receive the opinions of other people or even acceptance of other people or compliments from the people so what do you do do you think of yourself to do do you think of yourself or do others think of you as having a temper so do you think always like you have a temper or do other people think about you have a temper 
either way you can write if you say yes always one use usually two sometimes three seldom never like that next fifth question do you find it difficult to ask a friend to do a favor many people have a difficulty in asking for favor do you have a difficulty in asking your friends to do a favor if you say yes one no five when somebody criticizes you do you quickly find something to criticize them about somebody is criticizing you do you find the same uh, um, reason or do you also look for some reasons to encounter the same person next seventh statement says that do you keep information or opinions to yourself in discussions with people whom you do not do very well do you keep information or opinions to yourself in discussions with people whom you do not know very well for example don't you share your information with other people easily do you find difficulty in sharing your information which you do not whom you do not know many people don't share information with other people easily because they are not well acquainted with them and eighth question says do you feel that some people family friend are afraid of you some people think that and they also comment at home if i coming my sons will come and then salute me and they always afraid of me it is not good it's not going to help the relationship in the long run so always long term relationship will be broken temporarily they may accept you but in the long run they will always distance themselves from you so do you think that other people are afraid of you or at home or in the office next if you are angry at someone is it difficult to you for you to tell them if you get angry on any other people do you find it difficult to tell them that i am getting angry or i am not happy with you like that are you sarcastic with other people so do you crack jokes all the time when you are talking to the people do you find it difficult to refuse people's request when somebody is requesting you for some information do you find it difficult to reject and refuse other people res- the, uh, request do you think up smart remarks and quick some bags to put others people down or on the defensive if somebody is uh, speaking or do you think very smart and then uh, upholding your uh, rights high and then um, defending other people uh, quickly do you let other people make decisions about what to do uh, where to go and what to do so do you give the complete freedom to other people to what to do and what not to do where to go where not to go like that do you give complete freedom next i if some someone disagrees with you do you strongly dispute their view point for example in your conversation or communication if somebody is uh, disagreeing with your opinion disagreeing your with your uh, uh, ideas do you strongly oppose others opinions with the same tempo 15th statement do you tend to drag out apologies do you always seek for some apologies i'm so sorry for this even though the mistake is not there with you do you still ask for uh, seeking some excuses are you pretty sure you are right whatever you are doing whatever you are speaking are you sure you are right next it is if is it hard for you to express your negative feelings to others is it very difficult for you to express your negative feelings to other people do you tell people your thoughts and opinions about the behavior when they don't ask you do you offer your feedback on others other people behavior even though they don't ask you some people say your your attitude is not good your your behavior is not good change your behavior some people when they are aggressive they offer this kind of uh, um unrequested opinions criticism next 19 if you are angry at someone is it difficult for you to express on him or her if you find 
or if you find yourself you are getting angry do you have that capacity to express your anger on other people or do you tell them that you are getting angry with them next do you tend to be judgmental about other people most of the people they always are judgmental i mean before other people start acting and speaking these people start uh, being judgmental are you really judgmental about other people uh, behavior and attitudes so regarding this 20 statements how well you give the score if your score belongs to these sections the score pattern if your score pattern is between see this score pattern if the score pattern is like this between 0 to 10 you belong to what between 11 to 30 between 31 to 40 if you score the marks between 0 to 10 you belong to passive communicator between 11 to 30 you are assertive communication style communication style and if you get the score between 31 to 40 you belong to this aggressive communicator aggressive communicator so among these uh, three you will if you fall these are the three styles of uh, passive aggressive and assertive passive assertive and aggressive communicators this passive aggressive assertive communication what is the problem with uh, aggressive communication their body language always in terms of their body language in terms of their communication in terms of their uh, uses of language are completely different if we see passive communicators they cannot express themselves easily they don't express they always uh, suppress their feelings they don't uh, respect themselves if they respect themselves they never afraid of communicating with other person and the body language is also very lean and they always bend they even though the mistake is not with them they always seek uh, apologies and they seek out apologies from other people and they cannot walk with upright position and they cannot stand separately and they always maintain lenient body language next aggressive communicators aggressive communicators their body language is very aggressive like uh, they always point out and other people and they um, raise their voice in their uh, communication and to express their opinion they uh, always uh, walk so fast they speak very with louder voice and they don't listen to other people's opinions they don't have patience and when it comes to this assertive communication assertive communicators they always very straightforwardly they communicate they are honest and open and direct they in their communication and in their behavior and assertive communicators what do they do they always use open gestures proper polite effective professional body language they use when they are walking they walk straight they stand upright position they always be alert in their communication and body language and even they respect other people's opinion they invite their others uh, opinions communication they listen to other people nicely these are the body language communication and behavioral styles of passive aggressive and assertive for some more information let us see this uh, how we can develop our assertiveness in our day-to-day -day life and the importance of that also developing assertiveness happens like this how to develop assertive communication and what are the ways to develop our communi uh, assertive communication we will see through these slides
so passive people do not they cannot they do not confront problems and people dislike rocking the boat aggressive people always ignores other people's feelings so open direct not good at taking decisions and assertive people they are able to state their views easily and they always look for win and win situation it is not win and lose situation they always go with the win and win situations next what is the meaning of exactly assertive communication it is getting th through your thoughts and across the with the, uh, people straight forward manner without harming the self esteem of other people assertive communication is communicating your ideas opinions thoughts without hurting the self esteem of other people why it is so important this is one of the most demanding skill in the workplace and without this as i said 90 percentage of the problems will crop up in our personal professional social life because of these skills because of lack of this skill so professionally to improve long term relationship with the people we need to have this in the uh, this uh, assertive communication assertive communicator always maintain harness and direct relationship long term so assertive communication people their traits their qualities their characteristics are like this they are confident and relaxed way they are very confident in a relaxed way they are able to openly state views opinions and without upsetting other people they don't ignore problems look for win and win situations they are proactive and look for solutions instead of blaming other people they don't play blame other people they always take initiation they predict what is going to happen they take complete responsibility and they will be prepared for that that is the meaning of proactive proactive means it is not only active being prepared for future being prepared for future consequences and problems and able to admit mistakes without excessive apologizing passive people what do they do they apologize excessively but assertive people also apologize when things go wrong but not too much not by being more abrasive or by being more passive they don't do that they definitely say i'm so sorry i will ensure that it will not happen in future that is how they communicate so if we see the continuum of uh, behavior of uh, three types of people passive people are always uh, self denying self denying means they don't have self respect and they always have inhibitions in their activities they cannot express themselves and they always respect other people very high and they are very anxious and self depreciative people they don't achieve this passive people don't achieve their goals because they are not good at themselves and assertive people they are always improving themselves self enhancing and self respected people they respect uh, themselves so nicely and second they are so expressive in their communication and they are confident in their feelings and in their uh, activities they achieve their desired goals in future and aggressive people they also have high self respect at the cost of other people and second thing is over expressive over expressive means beyond expectations and they always uh, uh, depreciate other people they always suppress the other people that is the problem with the aggressive people they may achieve the results desired results but at the cost of other people if they do that in the long term they lose the relationship they lose the bondages with the people how this uh, passive aggressive and assertive people handle the criticism in the workplace in their personal and professional life when the passive people confront criticism from the other people these people always 
accept criticism simply without discussing, without even expressing their own opinions. And second thing is, this assertive people, they maintain self-esteem and if the criticism is true and diffuse criticism, critics anger. If the criticism is really true, but they accept it, they discuss and finalize the conclusion with acceptance of other people. And aggressive people, they never listen to other people, they immediately attack the others. This is how this assertive people, assertive communication generally. Six assertive sentences to try whenever we are communicating with other people. So, number one is agreeing in principle. As a general rule, you are absolutely right. So, assertive communication, whenever we confront the uh, typical people, difficult people, we need to first agreeing principle. What is that? As a general, I, you are absolutely right, but what I think is, if somebody is uh, commenting, complaining, criticizing your work, then you can say as an assertive person, you are absolutely right as a general, but when it comes to this situation, it does not work out like that. If you say like this, you are first accepting others' points of view. On the other side, you are also not suppressing your opinion. You are expressing your own genuine, honest, direct opinion. So, other person mostly accept it. Next, second principle says that, second sentence say, agreeing with part of their agreement. Of course, you are rightly to some extent, but as far as my knowledge is concerned, as far as my opinion is concerned, as far as my, no, my consideration, in my opinion, in uh, what I think is not true. So, here you are not absolutely denying, disagreeing with others' opinion. You are partly agreeing with their opinion and respecting themselves and then on the other side you are also explaining the consequences and issues related to that. Next, admit it is a reasonable agreement. Yes, what you are saying is very logical. If it is really true, you can directly accept it. Yes, logically, intellectually, it is true. But I would like to add some more points to your communication. This is how we can say like that. And fourth situation, appreciate their feeling. So, other person is feeling like this, I can totally understand why you feel that way uh, because of these various reasons. Even I would like to emphasize the same. I do, I too feel the same thing like that. You can empathize the other person. Assertive people can only empathize the other people because they can understand, listen and concern for others. And if you have any uh, objections, you can raise objections as an uh, afterthought. Yes, that seems true. But if I take care of like this, definitely will be benefited. Like that, you can give your objections after listening to them. And the finally, show that you have anticipated that attack. Thank you. I was hoping that someone was going to mention that. Usually, if presenting idea, admitting. So, if you already, as a proactive person, Assertive people are proactive people. So, if you have already anticipated or expected some attack from the other participants in communication or in the meetings, you can also mention this one. Yes, I expected this uh, same uh, response from you people. Friends, definitely I will have great concern for you. This is how we need to respect others' opinions. Assertive communication, assertive communication is ultimate uh, weapon to improve our relationship for long term. So, if we carry forward this wisdom, if we apply this assertive communication, most of the times, 90 percentage of the times, you will win in your life. You will rock in your relationship. You will never feel sorry. You will never fail in your 
dealings with other people you will definitely win most of the times and you will be successful in your communication and you will not break your relationship with other people you will maintain long lasting relationship and you will feel so happy at the end of the day you will feel peaceful blissful and happy every day you will celebrate your work like anything you will uh, uh, be getting good responses from other people so i wish all all the very best apply this um, assertive communication style in your personal professional and social life even it is so important in uh, interviews and group discussions when in when it comes to group discussions when somebody is uh, raising their point without giving the chance to you you can also assert yourself by saying that uh, yes i i too welcome your opinions but as far as i am concerned you can speak tentatively there itself assertively and even in the interviews also if the interviewer is uh, uh, asking like this are you ready to relocate any place in the world are you uh, why do you want to work for our company if we say the answer still if he wants some more information definitely sir you are expecting more information from me but as far as i am uh, i know this is what i think you can assert yourself most of the times not only there even in a day to day social relationship also always assert yourself many people suppress their feelings and one day they explode and it is not going to help other person and yourself also so i wish you all the very best good luck to you friends thank you so much thanks a lot